Why, hello. I didn't see you there. My name is Wesley with 22 Zines, and welcome to the 22 Zine Awards. In this video series, I'll be going through all, most all of the zines that I got in 2023 and granting fabulous awards, including Best 24-Hour Zine, Best Collage Zine, and the coveted Wesley's Choice Award, and many, many other awards. Brief introduction before we get started. I'm going to be spotlighting one zine per zine creator. Uh, in many instances, I have gotten multiple zines from the same creator, and if I went through each and every one individually, I probably wouldn't be able to finish this until it was time for next year's zine awards. So we're sticking to one zine per creator, but each and every zine from all of these creators is fabulous and certainly worth reading. Second, the zines will be grouped in each video by the method through which I acquired the zine. This is not necessarily to say that one method is superior over the other, or that any one award is any more or less important than the other, and I decided to do it this way just because it made it easier for me to remember when I got each individual zine. And third, I did my absolute best to make sure that this was comprehensive and that every zine creator that I got a zine from in the last year is represented here, but I did not actually keep an ongoing record throughout the year of which zines I got this year, so most of it is from me going through my zine boxes and trying my best to remember which ones I got this year as opposed to a previous year. So if I did indeed read one of your receive and read one of your zines this year, and you do not see yourself represented in this list. I guarantee you it is just because I forgot that it was this year. And starting next in, in preparation for next year, I will do a better job of actually maintaining a record so that I can be um, more confidently comprehensive in my zine awards. With that said, we'll start with the first category, zines that I bought or received directly from the creator. This is excluding zines that were part of a trade, zines that I purchased specifically for my zine distro, or zines that I got as gifts from people. These are specifically zines that I reached out and purchased from the zinester who made them directly. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. I think within the context of the other videos, it will make sense. I'll be spotlighting the zines within each category in the order in which I received them throughout the year. Uh, unfortunately, this particular zine is a bit of a mystery, because I do not remember when I got this. I cannot seem to find any record of when I got this, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not even 100% sure that I got it directly from the zinester. I'm maybe 80% sure. So with that, <laughs> we'll begin. The Zine Award for Best Art Zine goes to Collector by Jessica Hoofnagel. This zine is an absolutely stunning collection of the creator's artwork, both illustrations and photographs. There is no text except for text that is already incorporated into the illustrations, and flipping through this is an absolute dream. It is so beautiful and every single image has such interesting graphic elements. I would say that the illustration is very Keith Haring inspired, um, at least it gives off that feeling for many of the illustrations. And then many of the illustrations are a little bit more uh, detailed in the line work and slightly more realistic depictions. I think both are absolutely stunning to look at. The patterns and colors, I, I think especially the patterns, just become my favorite elements of this. The photographs are all black and white or sepia toned, which provide a wonderful counterbalance to the colorful, graphic, detailed, and highly patterned illustrations throughout. It is absolutely wonderful. The whole thing is very vibrant and yet nostalgic. The images all feel like they have some inspiration drawn from folk art and classical arts, and so looking through it feels very familiar and nostalgic in a way. Despite being so bold, it still remains accessible. I think that this is an absolutely stunning art zine that 
kept my interest through every single page. It almost felt like every page was better than the last, and I couldn't wait to see what else the scene held in it. And so for that reason, I think there is no doubt that Collector should win the title of Best Art Zine. This next scene is a bit of a special case, because I have had this particular zine for multiple years, and so you might wonder what it is doing here in the 2023 videos. I ended up including this because I gave my copy of this zine to a friend at the very beginning of the year, and I realized soon after that I couldn't live without it. <laughs> it uh, went to my friend in February, and I repurchased it maybe two weeks after, <laughs> along with many other zines by this creator, because I did not realize just what a favorite this was. So for that reason, this zine wins the special Can't Let Go Award, which is a zine that I could not do without in my collection. <laughs> this zine is The Alchemical Wedding by Brian Cotnoir. Brian Cotnoir has a series of alchemy-inspired zines, and all of them are absolutely full of magical, wonderful alchemical information in a way that almost makes it hard to parse. The collage is so intricate. There is so much intriguing and valuable text in here interspersed with images, all of which are tremendously sourced, by the way, with uh, sources for each image written next to it or typed beneath it. Every single word in this zine feels important and feels valuable. It feels like there is some sort of deep mystical knowledge that I can wrestle with forever and ever, and this is why no matter how many times I read it, I will always be happy to go back to this zine. It Something about the way that the, it is composed, something about the arrangement is so engrossing, so impossible to put down, it feels like a zine that I can get lost in forever. And so for that reason, Brian Cotnoir wins the Can't Let Go Award for Alchemical Wedding. I had the pleasure of meeting this zinester in person and getting this and other zines from them directly, which is always a thrill. I love being able to meet people in person. And this zine defies my expectations about what a zine is on a basic level that I am so surprised could even defy, <laughs> because I have long espoused that many things count as zines, almost anything counts as a zine, and that if you claim the word of zine for your work, then it is a zine. I like to extend the word zine far back uh, further than many people do. People uh, often claim that zines arose and the first zines arose as a derivative of fanzine from the 1920s or 1940s, somewhere in that era. I personally prefer to extend the definition of zine to accompany booklets, leaflets, pamphlets, and many things that very easily could be called a zine if they were produced today into uh, many eras in the past. So as a result, I am very lax about what I consider to be a zine, and still this zine managed to surprise me. And so for that, this zine is getting the Rule Breaker Award, breaking the rules of what a zine can be, and this is Big Red Target by Felix Kaufman. This zine shocked me and really defied my expectations of what a zine could be, because it is a single sheet of cardstock. This zine is four pages, in essence. A front cover, a back cover, and the innards. And so I don't know how I've managed to go through this entire relationship I've had with zines thinking that a zine had to have pages inside, that you had to be able to turn pages in order for something to be a zine. And this zine s opened my eyes. This zine woke me out of that and made me realize that a zine really could be as simple as a single sheet 
of folded paper, no fancy cuts, no fancy folds, even a mini zine feels so extravagant in comparison to the folding of this zine. And yet in that, it is so unique and surprising that it becomes engaging in itself, not to mention the intricate line work and the stunning subject matter here, very gothic and surreal with a very poetic prose. It is a fabulous scene and I highly recommend it. For that reason, the Rule Breaker Award goes to Big Red Target by Felix Kaufman. In the spirit of rule breaking, this next award will go to a series of zines. I know that I very specifically said I am selecting one zine per creator. This is my exception to that because the award is going to Best Series. So naturally, I feel the need to share a little bit about the entire series of zines. The series is untitled, and so for that reason I will just refer to it by the creator's name. This is the Cute Void series, a series of mini-zines by creator Cute Void. This series of mini-zines is a collection of letters, affirmations, positive statements, and I don't even know what you would call it, but the whole collection is so positive and uplifting in a way that does not discount the actual difficulty of feelings that we may experience. And the text becomes so much more powerful and becomes soothing through this huge variety of absolutely adorable and friendly and positive pieces of collage to support you as you read the zine and get in touch with these difficult feelings. We have an abundance of pink and it goes from photographs to plushies to washi tape to stickers to illustrations by Cute Void. And so not only is this zine inspiring for its, uh, its theme, its subject content, but also for its aesthetic content. I think it is very inspiring for collage to break free of this layering and to really treat art in a way that makes you happy and <laughs> in a way that um, reflects an abundance of good things. It is, it is very beautiful and wonderful to look through these zines. Each of them are so powerful with titles such as I Want to Live, Sometimes We Just Need a Break from Everything, You Are Not Hard to Love, and Dear Inner Child. And you can definitely hear Cute Void speaking both to themselves and to the reader. I think all of these are absolutely incredible and I highly recommend them. In addition, there is this little special zine which is done in Risograph. I have a few different color versions of this because I simply couldn't choose and it is also fun and special to look through knowing that it is so one of a kind, not only the cutting and folding, but the printing itself. So as a result, whatever you would call this series of mini zines, I think that Cute Void is definitely deserving of the title of best series. Finally, for this category, I love a good nonfiction zine, and I'm sure you do too. This award is for most accurate, and it goes to The Observer. The Observer is a series of zines, almost like a newsletter, uh, I am particularly showing off issue 130323, but there are many more issues that are available to read for free on their website or to sign up and get a free physical copy subscription in the mail of each new issue. So definitely, definitely check it out. The Observer is a magazine of strange and unusual phenomena, in particular UFOs, Supernatural, portals, and many, many more. It is full of contributions from people sharing their own mystical, supernatural experiences, their run-in with phenomena unknown, as well as research on previous strange phenomena, previous monsters, ghosts, UFOs, and other strange, unaccountable instances. I am particularly happy to share this one off 
for the article, Linda Godfrey, Werewolf Hunter. Linda Godfrey hunted werewolves, or as she called them, dogmen. She wasn't a superficial investigator. She didn't hide behind her keyboard. She interviewed witnesses, researched historical precedents, and visited locations where sightings occurred. This approach gave her a unique insight into the bipedal canine phenomenon. I think there is har it is hard to get any more accurate than the level of investigation done by Linda Godfrey, and as a result, I think this is the best way to really show off how accurate and invested the observer is in every single piece that they publish, how devoted they are to the real truth. As a result, I am happy to grant the award of most accurate to the observer. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll come back to see the rest of the zines in the rest of the categories throughout this week. Thank you very much, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.